Once instances have been inserted into an assembly, and one instance is placed near the assembly origin and fixed, the next step is to assemble the rest of the instances. This involves defining their position relative to each other and possibly defining motion between the instances. To do this, mates are used. Mates are a feature that define the position of parts in an assembly as well as motion between parts. In an on-shape assembly, mate connector points and mate connectors are used to create mates. Mate connector points are automatically generated inference points that appear on part geometry. They appear at the centroid of faces, endpoints, and midpoints of edges, and the center of cuts, holes, and slots. Mate connector points provide an anchor location to snap a mate connector to a part. Mate connectors define a local coordinate system for that part. They are used to locate and orient part instances with respect to each other when using mates. The blue line of the mate connector is the z-axis, or the primary axis. This is usually the most important to pay attention to when mating. The red line is the x-axis, and the green line is the y-axis. Mate connectors align to the part geometry so that the primary axis is normal to a planar face or is parallel to a linear edge, the axis of a cylindrical face, or center of a circular edge. To attach a mate connector to a mate connector point, activate a mate feature from the assembly toolbar. Click once to snap the mate connector to the desired mate connector point of one part. Then repeat for the second part. The mate then aligns the two parts together at the mate connectors. You can adjust the Z alignment by flipping the primary axis, and you can reorient the secondary axes by clicking the icon to do so in the mate dialog. Some mates allow offsets between the mate connectors. Mates that allow motion also allow you to limit the motion and set bounds. The mate type determines what kind of motion, if any, is allowed between the parts at the mate connectors. Once the mate is complete, accept the dialog. The mate adds to the mate features list where it or the mate connectors can be edited. In almost all cases, only one mate is needed between any two parts. If you find yourself adding a second mate between two parts that are already mated, stop and evaluate your mating scheme. There might be a better way. All eight mates use the same selection, two mate connectors so they are interchangeable. If you meant to define a different mate type, just edit the mate and change the type from the pull-down menu. Each mate type allows different degrees of freedom or motion between the two parts. The different mate types are explained in the next video.